Randy here from Restream, and in this video, we'll cover how you can quickly test your stream before going live. The methods I'll show you here will work with users streaming from external software or directly from Restream Studio. So let's get right into it. The first method we'll use uses Restream Monitor, which tracks your incoming and outgoing stream statistics and is free for all users. To use it, first, we need to create some test data to analyze. So head to your Restream dashboard and make sure all of your channels are turned off. Doing so will ensure that you're only streaming to Restream and not your end channels. That way your audience isn't alerted. For the next part, you need to go live in the same way you plan to when you stream. So if you're using external broadcast software, make sure you test with the software you intend to use. Otherwise, if you're planning to stream with Restream Studio, use that to test. While streaming, I would suggest playing your usual content. For example, if you typically showcase your product while live, grab your demo or product and stream that for five to 10 minutes. Now, let's analyze the incoming stream data to ensure everything looks good. We can do that by opening the nav bar on the left side of Restream and choosing Monitor from the list. From here, you'll be able to see all of your previous streaming records. If you ever run into issues in the future, this is a great resource to check. But for now, let's just select the stream we just did. Now, select Monitor Incoming from the top. From here, you'll want to ensure that your stream has a relatively steady incoming bitrate. If you see dramatic changes in your incoming bitrate, it's most likely that your audience is seeing lag. Ideally, your incoming stream will not vary by more than 500 kilobytes per second. You can resolve an irregular bitrate by ensuring you're streaming with an ethernet cable and not on Wi-Fi. Another thing to look at is your stats here at the bottom, such as frame drop. If you're getting a lot of frame drop, you may likely be streaming above your upload speed. So to fix that, try lowering your bitrate or upgrading your existing internet package. If all looks good and your bitrate is steady with no frame drops, then it's safe to turn back on all your channels and go live, as your stream is looking good. If you're worried about visual glitches or you're looking to run a full test stream, this is where Restream Recordings can come in handy. To use Restream Recordings, make sure you have a Restream paid plan that supports recording for the total amount of time you usually stream. However, if you don't have access to Restream Recordings, we have another method you can try, which I'll talk about in just a bit. Since we already streamed for 5 to 10 minutes to get that monitor data, we should already have a Restream Recording available to check. To do that, choose the video storage from the left-hand navbar. From here, you'll want to click on the Recordings tab from the top. Now, find the video we just recorded and click Play to watch it back. While watching the stream, Look for any visual glitches, lag, or sound problems. And remember, our support crew is standing by 24-7 to help you out with any issues you may have on your stream. However, if everything's looking good, then you're ready to turn on your channels and go live. If you don't have access to Restream Recordings, you can also use Facebook or YouTube to test how your stream will look once it gets to your end channels. To test with YouTube, head to your YouTube channel and create yourself a brand new event making sure to set this event to unlisted. Then, head back to the Restream dashboard. From here, you'll want to click the gear icon beside your YouTube channel, followed by Edit Settings. Now, choose the event you just created and click Save. To test with Facebook, you'll want to create a private group so that your audience can't see your stream. To do that, head to Facebook and create yourself a brand new private group. Now that's done, head back to the Restream dashboard and delete your current Facebook channel if it's added. Then add it back, this time making sure to choose your new private group you just created. Now that you have either Facebook, YouTube, or both added, go live and check the stream on these end platforms from a different device, such as a phone or laptop, to see how they perform. And that's it. We've covered the main two ways you can test your stream. The first is by using Restream Monitor to check the incoming analytics for your stream. And the second is by using Restream Recordings or live private end channels such as YouTube or Facebook. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, 
why not click the link at the top of the description and start testing your stream with Restream today. As always, I've been Randy for Restream and have yourself a great stream.